What's that? What makes it? Can we talk about what makes it a primary source? I'm going to hand it out to you a couple of primary sources and as an, an activity that goes along with it. But before you read the document, read the questions that are on the, on the board. Think about who wrote it. Think about the author's point of view. Think about why it was written, when it was written. Also, is it believable? Why or not? Now, believable for these particular documents is going to be a different kind of question. So, you're going to be reading about the Puritans. Yes. The Puritans, as you well know, were a group of people who criticized or wanted to purify the corruption and the hierarchy in the Church of England. The Church of England, once King Henry created it, became just the official church that everyone automatically belonged to. So once the king decided to formulate a new church and it's formalized his break from the Catholic Church, the Church of England came into being, as you guys already know. <coughs> Incidentally, what did you guys learn about Puritans growing up? Did you, do you know, like what did you learn as a child growing up about Puritans? About who the Puritans were? You may not think that you learned anything about it. You never did a, you never did a Thanksgiving Day celebration? Yes. Right? Oh. Buckles on the hat? <laughs> pilgrims? Yes, they were. Oh. Yeah, the Puritans were the pilgrims. Oh. Well, okay, so to be more specific, the Puritans constituted the majority of the people on the Mayflower. They were not the only ones. So, but they were. They were the majority of the folks on the Mayflower and were actually the leading group of folks who were dissatisfied. And if you understand that the Church of England was not just a religious organization, but a political one, obviously. It's the king who's the head of it. So your political lead and your religious lead are the same person. Yes? Different groups what? Like Moors and stuff like that. I was like around that time. Like, you see it? The Moors? The last thing we said about the Moors was that they were expelled from Spain um, during the Crusades. So they still existed, but they were expelled from Spain. Now Puritans believed that final authority was derived from the Bible and not from church officials. And therefore every individual had direct access to the Word of God. So you didn't need to go through somebody else to get to it. As long as you had a Bible, you could have access. Now, can anyone tell me again why it was that all these people suddenly were reading the Bible? What had happened uh, in the, the, the prior century that made it possible for all these new people to be reading the Bible? Yes. Um, not quite. It wasn't that the king told them that because the, the fact that they had access to a Bible actually led a lot of these people to become much more anti. King and anti-government. Why? Why? Why are all these Bibles being printed? What led to that? Right, right. Gutenberg and the invention of the printing press suddenly made all these books available. And again, the first book that was mass-produced was the Bible. And so this is one of the direct effects of the invention of the printing press. Suddenly, you have all these people who can utilize their own opinions about the world now their own ideas about the world, and the book is there. So there's not a person standing between them and God. It is, oh, this is the word of God? Let me read it. It's also part of the reason why the King James Version of the Bible was developed. It's a version of the Bible that's supposed to be more easily accessible to the average person. It's written in a language, it may not seem that way to us today, but it's written in a language that's much more accessible because a lot of the original Bibles were written, were written in what language? Right. The one, Latin, right. During the Renaissance, and even prior to that, they are written in Latin. And so you had a person who was interpreting the Latin of the Bible and, and telling the people what it meant. Now you have a Bible written in English. You have a brand new world. You have people who can read. And so they say, well, I'm going to interpret this story my own way. And that's why a lot of people became very upset with the structure that was existing. So is this the, like, the reason why Orthodox Christianity and all that stuff developed? 
yeah, that, the Protestant Reformation definitely did develop out of that moment. Um, some Puritans wanted to separate completely from the church in England. You guys already know that. Uh, ten years after the Mayflower, which was in 1620, so in 1630, a group of Puritans led by John Winthrop landed in New England and established the Massachusetts Bay Colony. They were still loyal to the Church of England, but they believed they could purify the behavior of individuals, which is purifying the church from within. Today we're going to read two speeches by the leaders of the Puritans who formed the Massachusetts Bay Colony to see if we can figure out how they believe they should act in the new world. In this class, you're only going to read the first one. Um, and the rest is going to be your own. So, who would like to read Document A, City Upon a Hill? Yes. Loud and clear, so everyone can hear you. 